Hey dudes, after all that talk about our own failures, let's talk about somebody else's failures. What I'm saying is we're going to talk about food recalls and safety. I guess I'll start this at the beginning. I know I've mentioned it, but a lot more will go into this telling than before. A few weeks, I don't know, maybe months, I mean, what even is time, ago I was uh, scrolling through Google in bed, like the feed it gives you when you pull it up on your phone. And uh, I came across a news article about a recall that was going on on some protein shakes. And I realized that we have these protein shakes in the fridge and pantry, and we've been drinking them for the last week and a half. In fact, we finished some cases of these protein shakes. So I sent the article to Nick and he ran downstairs and checked and lo and behold, we did have some of the contaminated shakes in the pantry and in the fridge. He quickly threw away all the ones that were on the recall and I was lucky enough to see a doctor next day that I already had an appointment with and he ran a bunch of testing to determine that um, I didn't have any illness associated with the recall. But we're still tracking down the abdominal pain, so that's a whole nother story. Either way, we threw out all the contaminated shakes and went back to the brand we preferred anyway. We'd only bought this brand because the ones we preferred were out and we couldn't get them. After all of this, I started following food safety news and FDA news because I never ever want to be caught off guard like that again since I'm immunocompromised and then we go even a step further and suppress my shitty and confused immune system. So I'm going to start making a series of shorts. They might not be super regular because I'm not going to make them if there's not news to tell. Um, But if there is a bigger, more ongoing story, you're likely to get a series of shorts or a longer form video about that specific topic. I really just want to get more information out there because it was really scary and not a fun way to find out that information at all. It's also hard because it feels like, you know, even when I'm trying to do all the right things to lose weight, you know, either pain or, you know, food contamination, something gets in the way and I'm just not able to do what I would like to. Going forward, we are going to start trying to upload on Tuesdays. I have been having some really painful sciatica and it's been a nightmare to get it medicated, but I was able to get meds and orders for physical therapy and an MRI. I still have to wait on authorization for the MRI, so who knows how many months that'll be. But I do have the order for it and it is moving forward Nick has a pretty big plan for his next video, so that'll be all him. He's super excited, and he already has most of the materials prepared, so assuming I'm able to sit in a chair to edit the video, it should be out on Tuesday next week. Anyway, I hope everyone has a wonderful week, and we'll catch you next time, buddies.